On the newest installment of This Is Why You Suck at Guitar, I told you guys I'd come up with a new one string speed burst workout that was helping me stay nice and relaxed with that pick in hand. Here's what it do. Kids, it's your good buddy Uncle Ben, and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wank Shop. Last week, I was having the worst time with my guitar playing. I developed this like death grip on the pick that was really messing with my picking sound and my hand synchronization. I just couldn't get it together until I came up with this one string speed burst workout that really helped me stay nice and relaxed and get my hands back in sync. On today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make this the perfect warm up that you should run through before your next gig or recording session to help you stay much more smoothlier. As always, this video is brought to you guys by everybody who supports my channel over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Ben Eller Guitars. Sign up today for all kinds of exclusive content like bonus lessons, backing tracks, and so much more. This week, everybody who supports my channel is gonna get access to downloadable tabs to go along with this lesson, as well as practice tracks and MIDI files I'm gonna put up. That way you can build your own perfect practice session and get those hands up to speed. So don't delay. Sign up today. Gear-wise for this video, I'm using my beautiful new Jackson Virtuoso, which I have not put down since I got it. Seriously, this guitar is absolutely awesome. And I'm playing that through the Synergy Steve Vai module. Now let's hear your new favorite warm-up again at Stepdad Speed. This exercise is built around a free birdian chord progression that goes A, E, G, D, F, C, F, and then G. And all the licks are made up of notes that correspond to every chord. We'll kind of talk about the note targeting as we go along here. Now over the A chord, the notes that we're going to use are these, A, B, and C sharp. That's got the root and third of the chord and a second or ninth in there just to add a little bit of color. Now every one of these speed bursts is gonna use the same picking pattern and the same left hand pattern through the grip of notes. So with these three notes that we got, A, B, and C sharp, which I'm getting up here at the 17th fret of the high E string, we're gonna play all these like this. Play the lowest note of the grip, the highest note, then you're gonna walk down, then you're gonna walk up. So low, high, walk down, walk up, okay? Play that two times in a row. And then go back to the lowest note and end right there. That's where the little rest break starts. That's what we're gonna do over our A chord. For E, play the same idea but using these notes. G sharp, A, and B. Again, there's the third and fifth of our E chord with a fourth in there as a little passing tone. Now you're gonna play the same idea. Low, high, walk down, walk up. Low, high, walk down, walk up. And then the lowest note again. After this, to play the G, we're gonna use these notes. G, A, and B. Root, second, and third. The D chord gets F sharp, G, A. For F, come down here to F, G, A. The C chord gets E, F, G. 
Back to F. Then back to G. That's the entire thing. So we have A, E, G, D, F, C, back to F, then back to G. And that's the entire thing. Now something I want you guys to do here is to practice this from other starting points on the neck. So in other words, rather than starting all those patterns off from this A, how about you take it this time from the A note on the B string here in fret number 10. The series of shapes and everything is going to go exactly the same. We're just going to be starting from this A note instead. Maybe the next time through you start it from this A note on the D string, fret number seven. Or maybe the A string, fret 12. And so on. If you practice that on all the different strings, you'll learn the location of the A note on all of them, which is really excellent to help you start learning all the notes on the board, because you should. And it's also gonna get you used to playing in all those different positions. Some of those will get really stretchy down low, some of them will get really cramped up high, but you gotta be comfy playing all over this thing, so you might as well try this out on all the different string sets. Now something I want you guys to do is every time you hit one of those rest breaks in between the licks, I want you guys to use that as a way to monitor any tension that your body was holding. This could be in your picking hand, your fretting hand, your elbow, your neck, anything. If you feel something loosen up when you take a break, it means that it was tense when you were playing. And you gotta ask yourself, is that tension necessary? There's always a little necessary tension, right? Like, if I don't have a little tension in my arm, it just falls down and I'm not on the strings anymore. But is it necessary for me to, I don't know, say curl my toes when I play? Of course it's not. I can play the lick while loosening those muscles and everything works out fine. This is the question that you gotta ask yourself if you're wanting to learn how to let go of tension. Ask yourself, do I need that muscle to be tense in order to play the lick? The next time that you play it after that rest break is up, try relaxing that muscle and see if you can still do the job. That's the real benefit of practicing this stuff with speed bursts. The relaxation period in there gives you a second to analyze what was going on before when you were playing. And this is really helpful to help you learn how to let go of tension as you play. Like I said in the This Is Why You Suck At Guitar video, I was having the worst trouble last week with tension in my picking hand in the form of me getting that death grip on the pick and it making my picking sound really just shrill and harsh. It was awful. And it was all coming from me tensing my picking hand up. So I mostly practiced this on the high strings to learn how to let go of that tension because that chirp was really the, the canary in the mind, so to speak, to let me know that I was tensing up with that picking hand. Now one thing that some of you guys noticed in that video is that every time I was tensing up with my thumb, it was also affecting my picking depth. It was making me go like way deeper in the string which is where a lot of that chirp and screech was coming from. And that's absolutely true. Whenever I was tensing up, I was losing control on how deep or shallow my picking was on the string. This exercise is really great to help you with that because every time you do one of these bursts of notes, I want you to try to pick with like the last atom of the pick. Um, some of you guys pointed out you can hold the pick really close to the tip if you wanna kinda help yourself do that. Uh, that's not a bad idea at all. I just try to mentally reframe it and think about tickling the top of the string with just the tip of the pick. You remember how this goes, right? Just the tip, just to see how it feels. That's exactly what we're doing here when we play through this exercise, is just trying to play on the 
top side of the string, not going all the way down. If you have a guitar that has a middle single coil, this is a great barometer for if you're picking too deep or not. I know a lot of players hate having that middle single coil in there because they just smack the crap out of it with the pick, right? Well, if you're just tickling the top of the string, that'll never happen. So if you have a middle single coil, that's a great way to kind of judge if you're picking too deep. Or you can grab one of those like crazy stylus picks. I have a bunch of those somewhere around here. Those are actually pretty handy for helping you develop the muscle memory to play just on top of the string. Because if you pick too deep, it's like the string just locks into that groove that's on the point and you really can't pick at all. Either of those things is a great way to help you learn how to play with just the very tip of the pick and not go too deeply. In order to help your hands get more in sync, one thing that I really want you guys to focus on with every one of these speed bursts is the first note and the last note of every grouping. If you're doing this correctly with alternate picking, you should always be starting on a downstroke and then ending on a downstroke. If you end on an upstroke, something has gone wrong. And usually what's happening is the hands aren't really agreeing with each other. The left hand might be over here cranking out 13 notes, but the right hand might be trying to pick like 14 or something, right? If that's the case and the hands aren't in total agreement about how many notes are in the lick, then you'll start on a downstroke and maybe end on an upstroke, for example. So as you play this, really lean into the first and last note of all these groupings and make sure that they're downstrokes. This is really gonna help you stay focused and get those hands in sync. Because synchronized hands are happy hands. So there you go guys, the exercise that helped me beat my tension problems and so can you. I think this is going to be a big help for you if you practice this on the regular. Just be sure to stay as relaxed as humanly possible. Make a joke of it. How relaxed can I be when I play this? Can I be like total full body jelly whenever I play this? Try it out and see if you can do it. You might just find yourself shedding an insane amount of tension just by making a joke out of the entire thing. So give it a shot. Grab those practice tracks and stuff that are on the Patreon page. It's gonna be a huge help to help you get this up to speed and make your own perfect practice session with those MIDI files and stuff. So be sure to sign up today to that thing. Grab those tracks and start shredding. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and all of that other good stuff. And let me know in the comment section what you're struggling with with your playing right now, and I'll make up a cool etude just for you next time. Well guys, it's been fun as always, but now it's time to get away from the computer and go do some shredding. Let's click it. More picking.